Uh, let's go to level, what is this, 10? This looks slightly dangerous. Brain Melty! Let's get ready to melt some brains. Brains. Ah! The walls are shooting! Ow. The walls shot at me. Not cool, bro. The walls shoot at me and the middle shoots at me and... Does anything not shoot at me? Okay. The walls stop shooting at me because... Well, I don't... I don't know why. Oh god! Giant heart! Ja! Ah! Giant bullet hell heart. Crap. That's what a game over is like. Yay! The earth was destroyed, but at least we got three new challenge levels. And that's half the battle. You can automatically upload your scores, which is what I do. I'm gonna beat this stupid bullet hell heart thingy, dude. He's not getting the best of me. So, let's see what happens here. Do I shoot? Oh, yes. You just shoot these things. Okay. It's good to know. That's why you should probably play games before you let's play them on YouTube. Because then you know what's going on. I like knowing when things are going on. What things are something. This is the sort of enemy that I almost wish I couldn't use the close range burst on. Because I like that sort of bullet hell stuff, but I realize a lot of people don't, so it's, you know, for ow. For people like that, you can just not, well, you have the, this thingy. So you can actually survive the bullet hell stuff instead of just dying horribly like I do. Let's try a normal one. These ones are kind of murdering my face. It's like squiggly lasers. Squiggly laser time. Everybody likes squiggly laser time. Ah, rocks. It's asteroids all of a sudden. This is another one of those gimmick levels. There are quite a few, but they're pretty fun. Scorgasm manages to keep things pretty fresh considering, you know, it's the it's a dual stick shooter, which everybody's seen before, but still it's got quite a lot of really cool stuff. And it's got a lot of bullet hell type stuff, like these bullets here. But at the same time not being, you know, ball crushingly difficult like every single bullet hell game ever. So you can probably beat this one. And if you think it's too easy to beat it, there's a bunch of crazy trophies like one of the trophies is for beating the whole game without dying, only on the hardest levels, like in one playthrough. And there's a bunch of other crazy stuff you can do. Most of the achievements are for being, doing something absolutely insane, rather than just, you played the game a little bit, good job, here's a medal. It's like, holy crap, you did what? OMG, have this medal. And that's pretty much what happens. Well, I mean, achievements, not medals. There are also medal, there are medals and achievements, so... It gets mildly confusing. Oh well. I love the fancy bullet patterns. Bullet patterns are fantabulous. Things are trying to murder my face. Oh yeah, things drop hearts, which are your points, I guess. So if you see a bunch of hearts trailing you down, they're not trying to murder you. Unless they're the kind of hearts that try to murder you. In which case, avoid them. I think it's only the boss that tries to murder you. Yay! I do find the screen effect... Ow. When you're out, out of close range stuff, a bit annoying, because it, it does this. It starts flashing red. But it goes away pretty quick, so it's not... It's not quite annoying like, um... The Legend of Zelda, dee doo dee doo dee doo dee doo Whenever you're low on health. That always made me want to murder people. Zap, zap, zap! Let's get zapped, shall we? I'm not feeling very zapped.
Oh, and something I forgot to show. When you uh, stop killing things for a minute, your combo goes down really freaking fast. But generally speaking, you're constantly killing things and killing lots of things. So it's generally not very much of an issue. Oh god. We've got some more standard bullet hell things where... Things that ow. Once you kill them, they shoot out a bunch of bullets. So be aware of that. You could always just try and distance yourself from things instead of bumping right into them, but uh, that's no fun. Well, let's just keep going on until we get another game over. I do really like the music, though. One of the menu music tracks I kind of don't like, it's like... I don't know, scratchy. It sounds like uh, clipping, sound clipping. It just kind of hurts your ears. But other than that, I really like the music. Hurts. Well, that is a fair amount of bullets. I really wish I knew what Chain Shots did now. They've been in since he's got a few other games similar to this. Though this is a lot more polished game than the uh, Bullet Candy Perfect and the original Bullet Candy. But... If you get the deluxe version of this game, you also get Bullet Candy. Which is an earlier... You know, it's the same protagonist kind of ship thingy. In a s sort of similar thing, but... Like, it's a dual-stick shooter, but it doesn't have the variety of arenas, and it's just not nearly as polished as this one. Shoot to the heart! Uh-oh. We are trapped, and things are going to be shooting at us. Excellent. Laser shots are very helpful. Oh, crap. And on the few levels where you don't have crazy high combos, um, not having triple shots can be a really, really bad thing, so do try and keep up your combo. Yeah! Uh-oh. Boss time. Pretty bullets! I love you, pretty bullets. Let's never fight again. Oh, pretty bullets. You try to murder me, so... Probably kill these things. Bonus! 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 Aw! Oh. Crap. Yeah, the frenzy mode stops, and the bosses respawn if you die. So... Don't... Don't die. Pro tip. To defeat the heart, shoot at it until it dies. This is not legal advice. Yay! And I sort of like the swarm of missiles that you get. Rank C! Yeah! We suck! Uh-oh. Something happened. We got an achievement! Achievement gets! Sender, King of Earth. Subject, huzzah! You saved the Earth! Well done, you! As a reward, you may help yourself to one of my special royal biscuits. But only a fig roll. No. You only be the easy boss. If you find more bosses, I'll let you have something nicer. Maybe something chocolatey. Best of luck. Well, I guess we have to beat the game on a non-crappy easy mode in order to get something that doesn't suck. Oh well. We saved the Earth, I guess that's something. But we didn't get a crisp notes, whatever that thing was, so I'm disappointed in myself. I'm going to get that whatever French-sounding food thing is. I demand it. Oh, and you can replay with challenges. Let's replay the challenge on the first level, because I have no idea how hard they are. Oh, and you can get an overview of all of the levels. We did not unlock very many of them. Let's go ahead and try the challenge. There's always a different, you know, objective in the challenge mode. It's not just a harder version. And we didn't get that challenge, apparently. 
You've told Sheriff Rusty Nuts that you're the fastest gunslinger. But now he wants proof. But how? To win this challenge, you've got to prove that you're the fastest hand in the galaxy by killing every enemy that appears. Darn dude. Fewest missed something. I don't know what that means. We can't miss things, I guess. Let's try this challenge and probably die. Shoot for the hip. Ew. We do not get much room to move in. Ah, I see what we're doing here. Ah, oh, crap, we're already missing stuff. That's not good. That's not good at all. Kill things! Yes, triple shots is very, very helpful. No, give me back triple shots. I need them. Ah! Things killed me! I'm terrible at this. Oh, now, now it starts over. But yeah, the, the challenges are all unique little things. Like this, where, you know, it's a different objective every time, so they sound pretty cool. But they're n they're not just something you can just, you know... If you beat the level normally, you can definitely do the challenge. They're, like, actually challenging. What a concept. Stop trying to murder me! I do not appreciate murder. I think you all know my con my opinions on the whole murder thing. Just, just just cut it out. Hey, we only missed 45. I don't know if that's good or bad. That's bad. The challenge is also cursed. Oh well. This has been Scorgasm, and you can get it for it's just 10 bucks on. Uh, yay! Woot! We sent a score. It's uh, scoregasmgame.com, but the, there'll be a link in the description. And look at all these achievements. There's stuff for... I haven't gotten any of them. I got a Steam one just now. But, uh... Yeah, you do stuff like... Do stuff. Perfect score. Unlock every level. Complete every challenge. You know. And there's escape. I don't know what that is. But yeah. Oh, credits. Credits.